Pawnee residents elected Christopher Linder knowing he was indeed a convicted felon. But a clemency hearing didn't go in Linder's favor. Now they'll have to wait until August before they have a more permanent leader. I'm going to make a motion not to, uh, at this time, recommend a pardon on behalf of Mr. Linder. The journey to become Pawnee's next mayor ended in disappointment for Christopher Linder. You know, there's a, a community that, uh, you know, was hanging in the balance for this today. Back in April, Linder handily defeated two other candidates, winning the Pawnee mayoral election. But there was one hitch. Twelve years ago, he was convicted and served time for a felony, transporting marijuana and taking part in a drive-by shooting in Phoenix. He was allowed 30 days to become eligible and receive a pardon, while the leadership of the city was in limbo. The mayor is like a, a city manager. Uh, you take care of the day-to-day -day business, and uh, it is a very, very busy job. Former Mayor Tom Briggs, who Linder defeated in the election, will hold office until May 18th. After that, the city council president will take over until there's a special election in August. Many Pawnee residents share Linder's disappointment. Should a person be given a second chance? And I, I believe so. And I think he should be still kept in office. He got the most votes. I mean, if you combine all the votes, he got the most, and people want him. Linder will now have to wait three years before he can apply for clemency again. And if you know, give me a pardon or not, I'm going to still do the things that I need to do. But my town needed me to do something for them. And unfortunately, I'm unable to do that for them. Oklahoma is one of a handful of states where convicted felons can be registered voters. In Pawnee, Brienne Pomerini, 2 News works for you.